The truth is, when I read it, I was terrified. I was terrified. The piece terrified me. The book terrified me. Just because it, um, it challenges the social reflexes that we're conditioned to sort of have. It, it, it not only challenges them, it, it, it obliterates them, it abuses them, it's very abusive. I don't, um, it required a, a, a lateral way of, a, of approaching this for me. I am the only character that is not initiated into this world by a random, say, act of a car crash. Oh an accident. And Catherine's entrance into this world is very um, purposeful. And therein I had to uh, spring some traps in my own mind to figure out what would make someone predisposed to doing that. Where is this character when she starts? What is she predisposed to? What is she lacking? And therefore, how will this um, anti-Christ figure, this, how will this character of Vaughn impact her? What is he a catalyst for? What does he provide a catalyst for in my husband that takes him from me? Because we do start the piece, however odd uh, my world is with James, it works. And that's very common with couples, they get into a rhythm of the day, this is their life, this is how they wake up, this is what they accept and they don't accept in each other. And that is indeed how we start this piece, as the happy little campers that we are. Without more, and of course you have to see that without certain types of moral judgment. Distilled, they're a couple who have a rhythm that they're used to, they have a relationship which is, f is fine, they, in their separateness, they are without a doubt together. The incident of the car accident for James is the catalyst that reveals to me we are no longer one. Something's happened to him that does not include me, and I am no longer satisfying enough. Our way is no longer enough. And in order to to care, in order to aim for that kind of ultimate fusion with him, I am then required to go on a journey. Attempting to embrace the sexual ennui that is required for the character of Catherine is just humorous because it's the antithesis of me. <laughs> and so um, that has been I think challenging because it's not commonplace. It is not commonplace for Deborah at all to have that that narcotized sensation with so much stimulus and 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 in a very elastic sense of eroticism, and for that to become as casual as sipping a cup of coffee like I do every morning. There's a journey in there somewhere. It's just naturally evolved that because of who he is, um, I felt, I guess, brave enough to just place myself in his situation every day without a backup plan. Because <laughs> that would have been very restrictive. In this sort of situation, it requires a sort of emotional and physical fluidity that it, it's very mercurial what happens on set. And there's, so there's a lot of percolation that happens. You think about you have everything he says or where James is at in the piece or where Elias is at in the piece. And also my role is one of the passive acceptor to some extent. And I have to, re I'm, I, I'm required to remain open to everyone. That's not easy because a lot of this stuff is terrifying. If I was to stop and think about what I was doing,